Now, it looks beautiful outside through that window, but uh, that is just the limitations of the hardware, let me assure you. Oh, the newspaper still goes out even during the zombie apocalypse. Sir? Oh, you got up early today. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Two human kids escape by somehow opening their cage. Ah, uh, he just says the same thing. Cool. Zombie papers. The zombies make newspapers. A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. It's almost like none of the employees were here to stop the zombies. The boy had a red cap. Hey, it was you! You're not gonna, like, sue us, are you? I sure as fuck am. Oh. Uh. Please don't? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's having an episode. Okay, I need to get some money out. Like, a lot of money out. Because I have some serious purchases to make. Plus, I need some of that Escargo Express action. Delivery. Three of these would be good. This one. This one. This one. Yes. And once they take these, then I will... Huh. I just ran inside the tent. Cool. Alright. I need to go have them pick some stuff up. Uh, how many things do I need them to get? Backstage pass. I don't need that anymore. Uh, I like holding on to the Franklin badge. That's helpful. So, backstage pass. Bad key machine. Pack of bubble gum. So three things. And then the rest of the stuff is pretty much stuff that I just need to sell. Alright. Escargo Express. Pick up. Alright. Now I wanna go talk to that one guy, the weird Unibomber dude. Because he is actually Neil's best friend. Backstage pass. She doesn't have any of them. Uh, bad key machine. And the pack of bubble gum. That is correct. Later. Toy air gun, yes. I sure am. Stun gun by... Let's buy some bottle rockets. And one more bottle rocket. Actually, yeah, you're gonna buy some of my stuff. Plenty of croissants. Let's give the travel charm to uh, Neil, because he doesn't have anything for body yet. Pop gun! Yes, I will take that. And... I thought I had another gun. That must have been the only one. Okay. Right. 
I should also go to the drugstore and see if any of the equipment there might be of use to him. I think they sell hard hats, and he can wear a hard hat. Yep. That'll be Neil. Please do. Ooh, copper bracelet. That's good. That's definitely good. Yes, please do. No. Uh, I want to buy a calorie stick, see how much they heal you. I don't really get the toothbrush, but... Calorie stick... Let's give that to Lisa. Give that to Neil. Do you have anything you can cough up, Neil? Uh, can anyone use this? So it's most effective if you layer it, if you use it multiple times to layer the effect. But it's gone after one use. Okay. Whatever. Broken machine. And a broken iron. I think he already has a broken iron. He does. Okay. Alright. I think that's pretty much everything as far as money goes. So let's just... Uh... Oops. Let's just drop all this off. There we go. Okay, and they're not saying anything new. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. Ah, so it's the dickhead from the zombie movie. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I actually run around. I just mean I am frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. Do any of you say anything different? Oh, insulting? Oh, he actually does say something different. So this weird object was flying around and crashed in the graveyard. It looked like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Wow, did you come here in that flying contraption? Hmm. Well... Let's go ahead and save. I think it's good to work just hard enough, which is what I'm doing. Don't hate me, Dad. You hater. Alright, let's go see if uh, anything's changed with the whole zombie situation up here. Bunch of flies. Oh, wow. Alright, uh, let's burn the front row. What does Spy do? Mmm, nice. The Putrid Moldy Man. Offense 36, defense 41, vulnerable to Psy Freeze and open to hypnosis. Let's test that theory, shall we? Oh man. Ha, he fell asleep. So that's what Spy does. It's basically uh, tells you their weaknesses. Yeah, there we go, Neil. You get them levels. Mm. Well, 
Well, obviously that's uh, not the way to go. And there was nothing in the graveyard other than the way out of the prison that we were put in. The other graveyard, I mean. Well, I guess we'll just look around town until we find something. Don't really know what else to do. How have I been in here? I don't think I've been in here. Yeah, I worked for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gigas, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not rather sh I'm not really sure whether Gigas is a male or a female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? Not really. Hey, wasn't that the guy who got me to go hang out with the woman? Like, go follow her in there and get myself... I almost said knocked up. <laughs> knocked out. Have I seen... Okay, one moment. I'm only telling you this because you look like you're just passing through. The truth is, I work for the monsters. The humans seem to be losing, so I'm on the zombie's side for my own protection. The zombie's leader likes fly honey. He makes his followers collect it. You know, bees make bee honey and flies make fly honey. The zombie leader is strong because... He always eats peanut butter and fly honey sandwiches. I got lots of fly honey stored in the tent to the south. I'll deliver it to the zombie leader soon. Huh. I didn't... No pinching of tents in this area without permission. That's what I thought. But there's a tent. And it's a monster tent. Boogie tent trapped you. Aw, shit. Well, I feel like a tent would be vulnerable to fire. Let's have Neil spy to make sure here. Well, teddy bear's done. All right, vulnerable to fire, yep. This is really weird, guys. I'm fighting a tent. Why am I fighting a tent? You know what? Let's see what the big bottle rocket does. I know it's going to be a lot. Oh! Oh, God! 455! Oh! Holy shit, Neil. I think that might have been some overkill. <laughs> Bye, I guess. <laughs> Fox dug around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a jar of fly honey inside. Fox takes it. Huh, so you missed the whole part where I beat your tent monster? <sighs> okay. All right. Welcome to the circus. Let's go in here see if these people have anything interesting to say. So while, while I have it, jar of fly honey, Belch's most favorite food in the whole world. However, it smells really, really nasty. We're talking major stinkage here. Ooh. How can we defeat the zombies? Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent? I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. So, a weird object. Huh. 
Hmm. Now most of... Hello? Apple Kid? I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. <laughs> it's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like flypaper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. Meh, 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 meh. You've seen at least one tent around, right? Meh, 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 meh. You can't see it, but when I'm doing that, I'm pointing right at the circus tent in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. And then the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. What? What area? How did I know that? Oh, it's... I don't know, it's just a lucky guess, I guess. <laughs> I'm the deus ex machina, don't question me. Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Fox. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I, there are so many questions that you can ask right now, but just, just go with it. He made zombie paper on a whim. He, he got really into zombie lore, and he was like, hey, you know what I should do? Make flypaper for zombies. That could be really useful in this fictional world in my head where zombies exist. Oh, what? The next town over is infested by zombies? Well, dumb fucking luck. Anyway, I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. I'm gonna go in the hotel and make the mock pizza man miss me. It's really gonna suck if this breaks the game, by the way. <laughs> Sir, you're working hard, even though you're young. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald, blah 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 blah. Boogie Tent Falls, young human to blame. You, you know, when you put it like that, it just sounds like, like a club, like a nightclub, that they happen to set up in a circus tent. The Boogie Tent. I'm Johnny Deep Voice. Welcome to the Boogie Tent. Oh, hello. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Fox, who is wandering around three. Never mind how I got here. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Fox, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Fox. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Fox, no matter what. Fox got the zombie paper. That's right, Fox. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kid's thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Deus Ex Pizza Man. Okay, well, we need a tent or something. Meh, meh, meh. So, I wonder if I can talk to these other people. <laughs> Ooh, 
We should try zombie paper or some kind of trap. We have to do something. So you're going to use this tent as a trap. Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. Sounds like bullshit to me. Zombie paper. This guy at the pizza joint told me about a new product called zombie paper. You can do whatever you want. Just save my life. Maybe a good idea would be to try to get all the zombies into a single spot. So, I guess I just put it down? Apple Kid's invention. Lay this out in the tent, and the next day a lot of zombies may be stuck to it. Hey, stupid zombies! Come out, wherever you are! The suspense is killing me. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. I have a nice bone for you. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Stupid zombies! Come on over! Just imagine, when we wake up tomorrow morning... Ugh, That'll be really gross. You say the same thing? Zombie paper is a stupid product name. Yeah, probably. But, what you gonna do? I mean... That's not even getting into the sheer dumb luck of the fact he managed to invent it at all. Well, I guess I gotta go back to sleep. So, let's get out another $180. Frickin' hotel. You'd think they'd let me stay here for free, what with the zombie outbreak. Ah. Well, that's helpful. I hope you all left the tent. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a complete bloodbath when I walk in there. Alright. Different newspapers. Boogie tent falls. Young human to blame. Damn that young human. Lisa's really far away from level. She must have just hit it. Okay. Ah, well, looks like they were not inside the tent. So, good. Ugh, we caught a lot of zombies. Ugh, it's really gross. You might not understand my saying this, but poor zombies. I was able to arrest... Arrest. Many zombies because of your help. <laughs> Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. You shouldn't say that. We did it! Did you look in the tent? Ha <laughs> ha! We taught those stupid zombies a lesson. I had to run all over to escape the zombies. Now I can't remember where my house is. That's a problem. I think we just did. I'm fairly certain we just got back to town from the zombies. What are you still doing in here? Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else, I just want to save my own skin! Yeah, he's that guy. Zombie paper really works, so I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. No, it kind of makes you seem like a creepy rapist, because you want them stuck to the floor unable to resist you. There's no response. There's no response. I'll blame you after my death. I'll blame you for the rest of my life. If I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. 
It's because I'm a zombie. It kind of sucks. <laughs> He's having a panic attack. Could you help me? Maybe not. Oh, bother. You humans are such cowards! I don't care if I pass away. Huh! I'm dead already! Dead and loving it. You are the enemy of all zombies! You monster! Well, let's just, uh... Leave them to their devices, I guess. Oh, nope. Pumpkin guy. Fuck that. Let's see if any of these other people have anything different to say. I believe that's the same thing she said before. What about you, mask kid? Or man, or whatever you are? Woman? Maybe? Well, doesn't look like anybody else has anything different to say, so... We appear to have defeated the zombie threat. And how did we do it? Zombie paper. Hey, I didn't write it. Anyway, I guess all that's left to do now is go check out that pathway that they were guarding. <laughs>